Okay, I've kind of finished up some grading here, done a little bit of effect work on it, and finished up the final color grade. Uh, everything looks like it's matching pretty well from shot to shot, so uh, the next step is going to be finishing this up and exporting it out to a final piece here. And I'm going to go to Deliver. And you can keep this, since this is the stereo mix in here, you can make this your final project here uh, right out of DaVinci Resolve. Um, or you can export it out, take it over to Premiere if you wish. Uh, but, but here we're just going to do a final export. But the thing is, with uh, DaVinci Resolve on a PC, you cannot export out to ProRes quite yet. So uh, you'll have to do that on a Mac. So otherwise, that might be a good idea to take it into Premiere and do the export as well. But I'm going to show you how to find, do a final export here. So... So we're going to go to the deliver window here at the very bottom to the right hand side. And uh, we are, let's close out my scopes here so we can see what we're doing. And we're gonna have, we have some options up here. If you're going to YouTube, uh, if you're mastering, it's gonna, it's gonna change whether uh, you, cause you want a high quality master. That's why I really recommend if you have this on a Mac, you can do it in ProRes. Premiere Pro actually does um, uh, export to ProRes now, but uh, DaVinci Resolve as a fifth version 15 still doesn't do export out to ProRes unless you're on a Macintosh. So I'm going to go to, let's do a YouTube master or let's do a Vimeo master. Vimeo is going to be a little higher quality here, uh, but we're going to do it at 1080p. It's going to letterbox it if we do it at that because it's 16 by 9, basically set uh, it's a, a preset for, for web. So we'll, we'll, we'll do a couple. We'll show how to do it to like a Vimeo file and then we'll do it to um, a master file as well. So format is going to be QuickTime here. If you're on a PC, you can do MXF, which uh, Premiere will understand those as, as high-quality masters as well. Uh, you can do a digital cinema package as well, so which is really nice right out of this. But we're going to do QuickTime, H.264, encoder native. Uh, we're going to sc scroll down. Uh, resolution here, uh, like I said, for the... for. Uh, uh, for for web format Vimeo, you only have the 1920 by 1080, which will letterbox it because it's a, not as quite wide as uh, aspect ratio. Uh, we're gonna do quality. We're gonna do best, and we're gonna change the kilobits. I like the kilobits around like a 20,000 just to keep up the quality. So when it re because it reencodes on um, on Vimeo, so I like to start off. It'll take it twice as long to upload it as well because the file size is gonna be the same. Uh, but everything else is going to be, but that, that's our uh, video tab there. You can go in and change the audio settings. The audio is going to stay fairly high quality for web, so th these presets work just fine. I'm going to go to File, and we're going to name the file. I'm going to call this uh, 4K uh, Final for, we'll call this Vimeo. And then from Audio, we will go to File, and under File, uh, we can name it. And uh, I've already named this uh, 4K Edit Final for Vimeo. For, so I'm going to make sure that's for the type of file that we're going to be doing for Vimeo there. And we want to do it as a single clip, not individual clips, which will preserve the edits. And you can do an EDL and a decision list if you're taking it to another software where you're maintaining those edits. Uh, but we're going to hit Browse. And right now I'm just going to put it to my desktop here. So I'm going to hit Save. And I'm going to add that to the render queue. And I'm going to do a high-quality master one. And this one will only work in Premiere, but still I want to have a high-quality master that we're going to use uh, for re-encoding to anything else in the future, which could be a digital cinema package, can be a delivery to a small independent theater, can be a delivery to YouTube, uh, just depending on how you're trying to share it, or as a screener. So I'm going to go into video, and we're going to change this. I'm going to go to, uh, I, I like QuickTime, so we're going to go QuickTime. We're going to change this to DNX HD. So for final recording here, I'm going to move over and I'm going to change this from QuickTime and I'm going to go uh, to the Avid format MXF OP1A, which is uh, which is the Avid format here. And we're going to choose if you want to do uh, if you want to do like master quality, we're going to keep it on uh, DNA, DNX HR and we're going to go DNX 444 uh, 12 bit, which is the highest quality. And this will be our master here. Let me pull this down and we're going to scroll down and we're going to choose our uh, to, to match our 2048 by 1080 uh, DCI there. And that'll match the resolution. Uh, you won't be able to play this in most regular like uh, uh, players like QuickTime or, or VLC. Uh, it might play back in, I don't think it'll play in VLC. This is this is a codec that like professional editing software only understands like Adobe Premiere. So you're going to use this like a media encoder to encode it to other formats later on or a DaVinci Resolve later on. Uh, so I'm going to go to audio and we want to keep maintain our audio here uh, quality. So bit depth is going to be 24 and we're going to maintain that same bit depth that we had before because it's going to be very high quality. And we just got that stereo track we're using. We're using, I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go to file and we're going to name this 4K uh, master, master. DNX, so we know this is a DNX uh, Avid codec. There we go. Uh, I'm just gonna put that on the desktop as well for right now. I'm gonna go to add to uh, render queue, and we're gonna start the render. 
And then we'll have two different files here, uh, one saved. And notice this one is letterboxing here because it's a 16 by 9 for Vimeo. And then it will do the Avid codec, which is going to be the right aspect ratio that won't be letterboxed. And uh, and that is about it. That shows how to get that. And these are, these will be the final projects I will show um, on the next episode. The next episode is just going to be the short movie playing. That's basically all it is. But that's the workflow process post-production all the way from 35 millimeter film uh, to premiere for editing and for sound mixing and then to DaVinci Resolve for our color grading. So if you have any questions, please post them. Thanks for watching. I know this has been kind of a large series. So if you stuck through with it, I appreciate it. And uh, good to see you guys. All right, take it easy. Goodbye. So, and be sure to watch uh, the next episode, which is, once again, the finalized short film here. So thanks for watching.